all up, people. <coughs> Hang on, let me turn this around. There we go. How's this? How's the light? Mm. Not a bit. Oh, hello. Hey, keep that on. That's a light over there, but it uh, keeps turning off. Anyway, uh, hello, Stephanie. How are you? Uh, so, uh, this live has got no particular topic. All right. Uh, but I haven't done a live for a couple of days, so I just want to check in. Uh, I've just had my dinner. Uh, if you've seen me uh, post them before, you'll see a substantial amount of food that's been consumed. All right. <coughs> Still got that bark, all right, but it's very, very intermittent now. So uh, I reckon tomorrow, touch wood, it'll be gone 100%. But it um, should have been gone by now. See if I can keep this stable. There we go. Uh, so anyway, had buffet dinner tonight. All right, so uh, uh, I've just consumed about seven plates of food. And the staff literally just looking at me like, where the fuck is this guy putting all this food? You know? Now, uh, look, I'm not advocating gluttony, okay? I'm not saying it's okay to stuff your face like a pig, all right? And that's not what I've done, but what I've done was strategic, all right? So, uh, if you saw my posts underneath, you'll see some of what I had. I started off with some fruit, which I took a picture of and showed you. Um, I didn't show you the next plate. The next plate was salad, all right? So it was a large plate of various salad, tomato, onion, uh, capsicum, lettuce. Um, what else was on there? Uh, fuck, I can't remember now. There's a big plate. Of, oh, uh, sweet corn, a couple other things. So a big plate of salad. All right. Uh, then after the big plate of salad, I had a bowl of um, uh, chicken glass noodle soup with capsicum and chili and garlic and onion. All right, but uh, there wasn't much chicken in there. Just a little bit, so not too much protein, meat protein. All right. Uh, then after that. I had the other two plates, which you can see, which were the uh, chili con carne with the rice and the corn chips, all the different colours. All right, and uh, and then also uh, on the other side of that, I had me mushrooms, some more sweet corn, and then some meat and some carrots and some grilled grilled or roasted capsicum. All right. So um, I mean that's a lot of food, you know. So you know, I would not recommend you know people normally eat that much. All right, but I've been I've been on low calories for quite a few days because I've been allowing myself longer time with my intermittent fasting to fight that uh, flu, which is gone. The flu's gone. There's still this little tickle in the throat, you know. So uh, I have been on low calories for the last probably three, four days. Uh, so when I say low, I'm talking like one meal a day, an OMAD, O-M-A-D, one meal a day. And other than that, it was just fruit and a, uh, and a health shake. <coughs> So you still got that one. G'day Chris, how are you buddy? Uh, so yeah, so last few days we're very low calories. So tonight you've seen me post pictures of copious amounts of food. That's because tonight has been what I call a refeed. Okay, so I've loaded up on calories and nutrition to be honest, uh, because I've been on low calories for the last three, four days. All right? Now, um, you're probably thinking why would you do something like that? And it's actually strategic. So it actually helps keep you lean. Okay, when you have a strategic Hyperload, I like to call it a hyperload. All right, uh, some people call it a cheat day or a free, a free day. It's not cheating; it's strategy. Okay, when you strategically load calories into your body, okay, you boost your leptin, which is your metabolism and fat burning hormone, and you suppress your ghrelin, which is your hunger hormone. Funnily enough, so who would have thought you know, eating would suppress a hunger hormone? All right, but it's strategic eating. Okay, you can't just stuff your face every day with shit. All right, it's uh, one time a week. Uh, uh, large refeed is what I call it uh, or I tell my client it's a cheat day or a hyper load day where you hyper load or mega load calories all right so um, <coughs> it's still there it's every now and then occasional bark all right so I've just done that but the funny thing is I've eaten all that food and if you've had a look through my post my timeline you'll see a fucking shitload of it posted all right I'm not bloated I don't have indigestion I don't feel sick or crook or you know, upset tummy due to the amount of, you know, food that's been eaten. And that's because of the way I eat it, all right? So people laugh at me when I eat, and I've done a video like this before, all right? But I always start with enzymes, all right? So enzymes and fiber, all right? So the fruit, the salad is enzymes and fiber, all right? Uh, enzymes and fiber improve your digestion, number one, but also uh, feed your microbiome, not the enzymes, but the fiber, so prebiotic fiber, indigestible fiber, okay? feed your microbiome. Your microbiome is your good bacteria. Your good bacteria then help you to digest 
the other dead food that goes through your system and to absorb the nutrition from that food, okay? So literally I've you know, consumed you know, copious amounts of food before, but I'm not bloated, I'm not tired, and because of the, not because of the strategy of the way I ate it, but also the type of food I ate. If you look at what I ate, I didn't eat any bread. I didn't eat any hot chips, which I do enjoy, but not when I'm doing a mega load like tonight because it's pro-inflammatory and it would have given me a sore gut, you know? Uh, so no bread, no cheese, no dairy, no ice cream, no desserts, okay? Um, if you look at everything I ate, it was mostly um, uh, plant-based, apart from the meat, obviously. And uh, G'day, Annette, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, mostly plant-based, apart from the meat, and then there was some white, white rice under that chili con carne, all right, which was delicious, by the way. And then there was corn chips. All right. So probably the worst thing out of the entire meal I had tonight possibly could be the corn chips. All right, because I don't know how they're made, where the corn comes from. Is it corn organic? Probably not. You know, and uh, what oil they are, you know, baked or fried in. You know, so it could be quite often is pro-inflammatory canola, rapeseed oil. You know. But of everything I ate tonight, and if you look through my post, my timeline, you'll see I ate a lot. The worst thing was the corn chips, all right? Um, other than that, everything else was pretty fucking healthy, you know? And I feel pretty healthy right now. Oh, I'd had three glasses of wine, all right? <coughs> so wine is, uh, uh, well, it's obviously alcohol, but it's also antioxidants, all right? It's not a lot of antioxidants, so I'm taking the piss when I say that, all right? And there's also a puff teeth of resveratrol in there, which is a very powerful antioxidant. But you know what? I drank the wine because I enjoy it. You know, not because it's nutritious, all right? So, uh, but I drank the wine before I ate the heavy food, all right? And that's another one of my rules, is I never, ever drink alcohol on top of heavy food, all right? I'll always drink alcohol before for two reasons. Number one, not to interfere with my digestion. Number two, to get pissed before I eat, all right? Uh, what I mean by interfere with digestion is if you drink alcohol with a meal, your body will metabolize the alcohol calories before it will touch the food calories. So you are more more likely to store fat, okay? Particularly if you eat a lot, like I just did, all right? Now, uh, I mean, fat is not a problem for me, obviously. I am lean as fuck, all right? Uh, but just bear that in mind, okay? So, on that note, uh, I've just really enjoyed my fucking mega load, and uh, I feel great after eating it. And uh, if you're going to do the same sort of thing, if you want to have a strategic cheat day, uh, for example, it's Saturday now, it's my cheat day, then you want to choose one meal of that day to have the stuff that you love, the stuff you enjoy, the fun food, so to speak, all right? And enjoy it that, at that meal. Totally guilt-free, don't worry about it, don't stress about it, don't panic about it. But if it does contain, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? If it does contain pro-inflammatory oil, so if it's deep fried, if it does contain wheat, so if it's pizza or bread, if it does contain dairy, so if it's ice cream or chocolate, you will feel shit if you are healthy. If you're not healthy, you won't feel a thing. All right? But if you're a healthy person, you, and you put a lot of that stuff in, you will feel shit. All right? So try to limit those ones, okay? But you know what? You can have anything you like in moderation. The, the trick right there, the key right there is moderation, okay? So for example, me, only maximum of 20% of my calories over a course of a week will ever come from fun food, so to speak, all right? The rest of it comes from healthy food, and my golden rule is nutrition before fun, all right? So your nutrients have to go in before your fun food, all right? So always, always, always have fruit, salad, vegetables, with your meal, okay? Preferably before you eat your dead food, before chips, before bread, before meat, you know? And people laugh at me when I say that, they're like, oh, so it all gets, goes, it goes in the same hole, it ends up in the same place, it's stupid, you just eat in any, any order you like. You can, but you shouldn't, all right? If you eat it all together, you will pos yeah, pro excuse me, possibly or probably suffer indigestion and bloating. If you eat it the way I've told you to eat it, you will most likely not suffer indigestion and bloating and better tolerate the food you're eating. All right? So on that note, uh, I'm gonna nick off and go and have a beer, I think. All right? In this uh, little beach bar here. Happy bar is cool. All right, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers, folks. Thanks.